Hey everybody, I'm gonna record today. We're gonna do a basic character. I'm just gonna do a quick. Just want, I feel like modeling today, so I'm just gonna do a basic character. Saw some inspiration on uh, Pinterest, and that's pretty much the direction I'm gonna go. Okay, so the Pinterest had a character, and the idea was you know you had your head and a baseball cap. Face is kind of long, but uh, he had a hoodie on him. So we'll probably do the the blob here, and then his hands will be in his pocket for time. You know, get the legs, fold up his pants. Okay, go this route. It that way, you got a hoodie going on there, and then um, kind of get an idea of what what I was going for, or what I am going to go for. He had some put some headphones on him, make him modern. Put him that way, some eyes, baseball cap. So this this is kind of the idea. I'm gonna go put probably put a logo on his shirt or something. We'll make it a, a zipper kind of kind of thing but you kind of get the idea and so we're going to start with the head right here and we're going to just start from the sphere that you see um, I'm going to use a lot of the tools that you see inside of the basic move move tool your gizmo We'll go ahead and go into here, and we're going to project the primitive. I like I like, like using this because it's actually good to kind of get a start. And we'll change the shape to a cylinder. Where's my cylinder at? There you go. I missed you right there. Cylinder and orientation going up and down. Let's go right there. So kind of we'll kind of scale this in there. Give a face. Just kind of place them where you're happy. Mind this a little. We're going to do a, kind of a caricature. Just going to fill in. We'll smooth this out. Just get it till you get it right on here. We'll just get it. Start playing with it. It can be this brow line right here. Um, drag it down. Okay. We'll accept this. Let's go into here. And let's change this to a clipping curve. Turn off your perspective. And we're going to just slice down the sides to kind of give them a mirror, mirror and weld. Give them some more vertical shape. Uh, don't forget to turn on symmetry. Gonna turn on symmetry. You're going to do this again. And just kind of eyeball it. And we're going we're gonna to smooth them out a little bit. We're going to scale them. Just trying to get the shape, smooth this out, smooth that out, smooth this out. <laughs> Mainly just trying to get a, a feeling, getting it in there. Your eyes will probably be right here in the middle, so let's go ahead and kind of sketch where those will be. Because we'll, we'll divide this in half. Boom, boom, and boom. Right there. This will be probably the nose. It'll be more stylized so it's not too too many characteristics or features. Let's drop that down. Let's 
let's go ahead. Let's go give him. shaping some of this out. It's going to be kind of loose. Uh, it's very stylized look too. I didn't really want to make it too too defined. On here. Let's go ahead and start pushing and pulling. Start giving them and give them a wider face. This is where you start playing with it. Let's go ahead and dynamesh this. Checked. 50. This one's about good. Let's move them out some more. So he's going to have a hat. So I'm not going to worry about anything else much on that. Uh, let's go ahead and pull that chin out. Pushing and pulling. Let's increase this. I need to drop this down to 25. I'll do it again. Let's see what that. I'm still not low enough. A little bit lower. Just kind of let it relax a little. I want it to give it like a happy feeling in a bit. Kind of a head. All right, let's get some more shapes in there. Let's get a neck going. Uh, project. I'm gonna drag this down and probably scale that. Scale this. We got a neck. Let's give it more neck. Right here. Put them back out, Dynamesh again. Let's drag this smaller and go from there. Some artifacts, let's just go ahead and try to clean it up. This is gonna be real quick, quick and dirty, just something for getting out, sculpting, sculpting wise. Um, we can add some features if we want, but. Really, I want this to be um, more of a a clay sculpture looking effect. So let's just let's go that route. Let's just go ahead and fill this out. Ooh, mirror weld symmetry. Just fill out some some features. It's gonna have a little chin. I guess we can add the nose with this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add that. Alright. Let's shift four. Let's append. 
sphere. Grab that. Sphere, drag it down. So we can go ahead and start shaping out some of this, this body. Go ahead and place this. Just go ahead and scale this down. Um, scale. Taper. Let's taper the bottom just a little bit. Shape the top. So I'm going to add the arms in a minute, but right now, I'm just going to play with it. So put this side by side. Be like that. This would be. Like that. Okay. shaping out some of this detail. Kind of baggy clothes. Gonna give them. Let's rotate this. Just a little bit. All right. Kind of there. It's gonna inflate. I would give them ears, but it won't really won't matter. We're gonna go ahead and give them um, features in a minute. I'm just trying to block out everything. This is just real quick. That's a pinned. Let's go to Z sphere. Let's get this and just kind of moving real quick to get some shapes shapes going, so we can start placing, getting that getting an idea of what we want. So here goes that. Start adding an arm. This will be his shoulder. His arm's gonna come back and then we're gonna extend. Because we're not gonna model everything, we're just we're just trying to get a quick sculpt for today. It's gonna go in his pocket, he's gonna be chilling, probably at a bus stop or something. Um, I'm gonna do this paint down some of this detail so we can shape it a little bit better. Let's just close zipper. Let's see, Sweetie's gonna be right here, but we'll give him some. Smooth it out. Smooth that out. Get his um, arm a little bit, and we'll go, we'll go ahead and give him a shoulder out of that. Just drag this up, drag that in. This way we can connect it all. You can get that placed. So kind of get a look, a little bit of an idea. Uh, let's see. Could probably scale this. Put like a little pocket right there. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to make that a mesh. So adaptive skin, no density, no dyna mesh, uh, classic or let's see, let's see preview. 
but it's pretty clean. If you look at the mesh, pretty clean, real basic ge geometry. Uh, make it. Let's go to here. Let's turn that off. I'm gonna pin the geometry that we created, and that should be this. So now, if you push the A in there, so, all right, or in the Z spheres, so let's get that kind of subdivided up. Let's um. Get a little detail. Get some flow. Uh, let's go ahead and get this going. Get an idea where the zipper is going to be. Gonna make it draw a line down the middle, probably. I could probably use. more geometry but we're just going to go real light right now um, make its pocket so we'll go ahead and start doing a pocket in here start filling it out the idea was probably to put them in a scene uh, maybe at a, a dart or something or a train bus station or whatever um, whatever we have in mind and um, go from there this right here will go mirror and weld. Ooh. Let's delete those subdivisions. Delete lower. Mirror and weld. Boom. Kind of getting there. Get a Marty McFly look. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, McFly. So we kind of go ahead and clear this out. It's going to be kind of a claymation stop, too. All right. Roughing it in, roughing it in. And then let's pin one more time. This will be that. Ooh, it'll be nice for his hair. But let's not, let's not worry about that one right now. We're going to do a cap for today. That would have been cool though. I, I would have liked that. Gizmo, scale this in. I'm just gonna shape this to be like pants. Them old school pants from the 90s, right? No. You like a guess. Slice this bottom. Symmetry, clean this up. Kind of got a little bit going on there. Let's go ahead and give a little definition down the middle. Where the pants gonna go. See him in the back. You know, sometimes you're not even gonna see the back, but I guess it's just habit. When you're in ZBrush, you want to just go ahead and model everything. Probably don't matter, but. Late at night, you'd be staring at the wall, but like I should have finished it. So, let's, uh, so we can either go more cartoony or, or basic with this, so let's, let's kind of get some form. Maybe about there, because we still got to put the shoes, but let's, let's give them a, maybe a squattier look. Let's see how it looks, right? I don't know. What you think? Let's see. Let's go all the way. Silhouette. Let's go back to the silhouette. Does the silhouette work? Man, his head looks like a skeleton. Don't it? I don't know. Let's, let's work with the silhouette. So, you can already see. Flatten that out, flatten that out. That's good. Get that in there. Yeah. 
some get some shape going. All right, all right, all right. So, its head seems kind of skeletal in a way, but we'll we might go that route. We we'll go a little skeletonish, kind of creepy. Let's go back to our skin shader four. It's a new favorite, the skin shader four. You know, I've, I had a better uh, texture back in the day, and I, I can't find it. I started looking at my old models and. I was like, I need to find that texture so we can kind of, none of this is going to be like real high in detail, it's just real quick for today. You're like, you've already said that. I'm just saying it again. Just for today. And so yeah, I can, I can go back up and use this right here and we can start doing a little bit more finer details to get this and I guess that's just habit of me forgetting that it's there remembering the older ways of using ZBrush but let's go ahead and use it it's there let's go ahead and get some of this in there get some of this uh, detail and it'd be kind of like blending of the two some um, cuts. I like to use a uh, slash two brush a lot. That's another fun one. Slash two. Yeah, and don't forget to save. I'm going to do a quick save. Even though I probably should save it in the file. I'll probably save it in a minute. I'll put this video on pause and spare you that moment of having to watch. We'll get a little slash two after a bit um, in here, and I'll show you that brush. That brushes. You don't use that brush. You'll you'll but once you get into it, you'll be like, ooh, fun brush. So maybe we'll make his neck a little bit less noticeable. I think so. Yeah. You know, sometimes. The little I probably should have just not done the neck at all, right? Just left him as that. Just a... Hmm. Problem solved. Take that neck. We'll just probably um, I don't know. Let's push this in. I don't know why that's still up. Uh, let's go to a brush. Push it down. Probably put a cylinder for a neck or something. I don't know. Boom, boom, boom. Cause it's cold outside, right? You wouldn't have a jacket like that. And let's go ahead and crease these pants a little more. And give them a lip for the folding up. I'm gonna optimize this in a minute. I'll, I'll clean it up. Don't worry. Don't you worry. And those are not his shoes. Not his shoes. It's patience. Let's kind of clay it up. Well, since we're talking about shoes, let's give him shoes. Pinned. And let's see how this goes. And you got a shoe. And scale it down. 
go here. Nope, wrong way. Nope. Nope. Yep. Kind of got a shoe. Scale it in. Scale it up. Scale it down. Alright. Or scale it tour. Yeah, that could work. I need to push it back some. Let's scale it back out. What you think? Cabbage patch. Look. Two. All right there. And we can push the shoe to be around there. It's near and welded. To give him two shoes, because he's gonna need these shoes to be walking around. And so he needs a neck. Let's give him a neck. Hand uh, cylinder. It's a new hairdo again. Let's scale this down. And the first time I tried modeling something like this, I, I went with uh, making it in there, but. Sometimes it's an experiment. It's got a neck. Kind of a neck. Something of a neck. This way we can put his head where it needs to be. Or not. Bob's so head. Yeah. Give heads up from a distance like that. What's up, dude? Sorry. Staring at computer screen too much. So, that kind of works. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Just, 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 to, just to shave it. Oh my God! He fell on his face. I just kind of clay it up a little bit. Okay, so now what we need is a hoodie and a hat and so I do plan to give let's go ahead and start fresh on here so there'll probably be you know if I had time I could probably do a zipper here and then um, we're gonna put the little crease marks here for uh, slash two and then this I'll probably model back in and extrude it out and go from there um, a lot of little things. So I'll probably put like little creases here to kind of give a little more detail. Um, just headphones. I'm gonna put on, put on some. You know what? I'll put some freaking big headphones like this, maybe. Yeah, I don't put it like. And then we'll have a hat kind of going. But I don't know if I want to do it backwards or forward. Either way, it might be cool. We'll figure it out. I'm just gonna try to get there um, over this period. So let me save real quick. I'm gonna save this progress, and I'm gonna save the video, and then we'll go next step. Just add more detail. Um, this is just 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 for fun for the weekend. Not really doing much. Just felt like doing something real quick and easy in ZBrush, and um, not really something that's gonna take like five hours. Just wanna spit something out and see what we come up with okay so let me uh save this out real quick okay so now we're gonna work on the probably the hat we're just gonna do a basic um mask and we'll go with that what we could do before we do this let's let us um, optimize this. Let's let's go ahead and process this to be a little bit more cleaner. Um, legacy. There's now a legacy. Z remesha. For it is seen the polygons beyond. Uh, let's do it again. <laughs> One more time. 
and again for dramatic effect and uh, again um, yeah let's do it one more time whoa buddy it's gonna be interesting but we can work with that a little lower um, sometimes that's what we need is a little lower we're just kind of walking in at the same time and we can do that with pretty much just about all of it but for now let's go ahead and divide it and smooth it. look at that pretty smooth pretty smooth that one right there and then we'll Let's just go ahead and do this. Let's uh, extract this piece. And it looks like some hair. And let's go zero. Extraction. I like it. I like what you did with the place. And let's see what we got. We got something. Let's go ahead flatten it out Ooh, what's going on there and your perspective is on that's why we're gonna we're gonna bring it just about right there and I think that's a winner let's go ahead and Z remesh that go to the legacy let's see what it does and it's too bad let's just lower this polygon though I really want just uh, um, a clean mesh. We could probably do a little bit more uh, Z modeling on this instead, just for time and how easy it can get. That looks pretty good. I can make a build the cap right there. We can start going out. Let's do that. Let's go with that. He's got a funny shape head, but it's okay. It's not real. He was dropped when he was little. And we've never brought it up again. Alright, anyway. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Extrude. So we can go a couple of different ways. We can go the 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 high bill but you know sometimes that it just it's too much you don't want to commit to that so let's go to poly group and we'll bring that down you know what I didn't even transpose polygroup let's do this and do that Bam. and so it begins let's reset this scheme yeah baseball cap number one What's tricky is that I will probably, so we know that works, let's see if we can extrude this to be connected to that, I know it's kind of tricky, but let's see, insert, let's just insert it right here, unmask, and we'll turn this off that, let's see if we can extrude this and it'll maybe snap, I don't know if it will, but let's go to poly group. Oh, let's see if these are a polygroup and see if they snap. No, they didn't snap. Mm -mm. Let's see what we can do to fix that. We can start over. It's okay because it went too much work. And let's extrude this all, all polygons. That way we give a a basis for a hat and then we'll just go ahead and do this again but we know what we're doing now one step forward two step back so now we can go 
single polygons. My god, it works. Let's see if it's just that will work. Yeah? And then we'll do that. We'll just select that end and go from there. That would be an interesting hat. They made that. They'll be like, that's a cool hat, man. Where'd you get it? Like ZBrush? That's where it came from. Alright. Let's scale this in. And bring it down. And bring that back just a little bit. Okay. Let's look at it. What do we got? Okay. Needs a little cleaning up right here. Um, open that up. Um, not that soft. Right. So now we're going to get more into poly modeling. Um, what I'll probably do is take that away and that away. And then add it back. Let's see what that does. It seems to have improved it. Okay, so we got a hat. We got kind of a basic hat. Um, right here, we probably could pull that out a little bit. Just, uh, just slightly. Yeah, it'll smooth out. But there you go. You got, you got a hat going on. You got a, you got a dude for the bus or whatever. So let's go ahead and optimize this too. Let's um, Z remesh this thing. Knock uh, it in half. And go from there. Let's look at our polygon so we see what we got. See, with nuts, we're going to optimize this. Let's see what it does. It's taking a while. There we go. Let's lower it. Even more, even more. We'll just keep going. Okay. Let's do the same with this thing, too. Okay, so I'm gonna Z remesh this. I'm gonna knock it in half. A lot better. We're gonna knock it in half again. Sometimes, you know, just it's good to get a base and then just go from there. There's no reason to get crazy with all this mesh. Okay, so we got a, a basic model going on. Let's see what the shoes look like. Yeah, we can work with that. We're gonna we're gonna add detail. So let's go ahead and start adding the, the headphone um, spacing. And let's let's turn that. That looks that looks like it hurts. Let's, see. let's bring that down and then rotate. Turn off the perspective. You don't need that perspective. There you go. Look at that. Boom. And then, um, you know, before we do that, the the headphones. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Let's um. Uh, let's get. Let's get his back. And extrude pieces from it. So we're gonna. Oh, um, don't forget to save. 
It's very important that you save. Let's see what that looks like. It looks like a piece. Let's accept that. Let's accept it for what it is and who it is. So let's go ahead and smooth this out and let's look at it. Ooh, interesting. But we don't need all that mess. Let's go ahead and Dynamesh. Dynamesh. Is Dynamesh even working today? Like, I want it. Come on, Dynamesh. You can do it. Dynamesh it. It's like a superhero. So, let's go ahead and give him his little cape his, or hoodie, however you want to call it. Z intensity low. Okay. So this will be that. And let's go to snake. Snake hook. I'm going to drag this along there. Doing. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that on. I'm trying to fight this thing. We don't need a head, and we don't need that on. Just want it to work. Forget the button. It's used to be you can hold it and control it or something. It would follow along. It might only work with the move. No, I could have swore it was a snake. Now you got me off on a. There it goes. It's alt. Alt, alt, alt. Alt usually follows. I don't know if it follows that small. There you go. Follow it, alt. And then we're gonna fluff it up. Oh. Um, let's do that. And then give it some. Give it some width. Dude needs a hoodie. It's cold outside. Let's, let's make it thicker. Where is my inflate? There you go. I'm gonna blend that into his his uh, what you call it? I can't even think. There's a body. And there you go. Can probably cut in right there. Give the impression. It's got a hoodie. Hoodie, hoodie, hoodie. And we'll refine this. We're just trying to make something real quick. Hoodie, hoodie. Alright. Cleaning it up. And then we can actually make that way. No, it looks like a hoodie, and then there's just some geometry. And they're like, "What are you doing there?" I don't know. It's a hoodie. It's not a hoodie. Okay. There we go. A little bit, a little bit of a hoodie. This guy's got a hoodie. Not just any hoodie. You know, just just putting the hoodie on. Might need to push and pull a little bit. You know, get get stuff. Boop. And there you go. We'll fix it later. 
keep saying you're gonna fix everything later. All right, cool. Interesting. Let's go ahead and turn everything else on. So we got we got a hat. We got that. We're gonna put some headphones on them. Let's save because never know. Power could go out, and then I don't know stuff. Uh, let's fix this. I, I probably should have thought this out, and I didn't. And that's what I get. Alright. So let's extrude this poly loop on this. And we can actually. Use the move tool on that. Let's see if this will push it. Move tool coming to life. Come on, move tool, you can do it. Boom. Boom. There you go. We'll just we'll model it more in a bit. For now, you got. Got it there. Got to do it. Right. Pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. A little bit more detail. So if I turn this off, now. We'll subdivide it and give some more detail in there. So right now, he needs his headphones. You're like, where's his face? This man has no face. Um, well, he could. But he just couldn't face it. The face is face. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like what I see here. Let's see what we can do with that. Let's rotate it, turn off that. Look at that. Halfway there. You want to see if I can make some big headphones? It's going to be big. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be rocking it. Rocking it. These are those new headphones that nobody has, but everybody wants, you know? That's right, the new and improved headphones. Never seen these before. We're gonna have um, stuff. That's right, stuff. I don't know, let's see. Bing. We can do that. We can do it. Uh -huh. I guess the thicker. Yeah, look at that. You be jamming out in the train. He's like, man, check out these headphones. And everybody's gonna say, man, where'd you get those headphones? He's like, I can't tell you. He's like, why not? It's a secret. Okay, I see first. We're just adding some details. Let's add a circle in here. Ooh, look at that. Um, probably group inner, flat border, flat inner. Oh, wrong button. And then you got this. And that, and it was ball bat. You know, there's a trick today, and I can't remember. It was something to do with um, 
you can smooth off or bevel all your edges. Oh, man, it was a pretty cool trick. So I'm one of those, did you know that? I came in I'm just tired, but let's continue. Let's continue and figure this out. Dang, this is headphones. This dude. I don't know. How much headphone is too much? Clearly he can't hear. The music. Alright, let's do this. Let us, uh... Let's shrink something. I don't know. Let's go right there. Let's just shrink that. Right? Maybe? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I don't have these answers. No, I do. Okay. Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Let's shrink that in. There you go. Headphone for life. They still look crazy big, don't they? Alright, let's shrink them just some. Gotta be a little believable. You know, people be like, what the hell is that on his head, man? You got like a satellite dish and everything. So, let's go ahead and. Ooh, you know what I forget to use is. um. Right here. Okay, let's see if this works. And then click the first poly. Well, you can't really do that if it's symmetrical. I think that only works on the one thing. Oh, let's see. Two plugins. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's just go from here. Loop that? No. -uh. Okay, got me. Stuff is it? I connect. <clears throat> I know a way around that. It's just. Now I want both of them. Let's start shaping these headphones. Seems to work. An extrusion. And then we'll do the um, 
I want both. Alright, go. Hello. They're not connecting. You must connect. Let's see. It's a slow bay, uh. and we can uh, do what's necessary to remove these uh, problem problem ones. And there you go. We got headphones, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. The man is rocking. He's listening to music. And he is. No carries in the world. Look at that little bit hit. Quitty. Let's just scale that. Man. I'll have to do it in a minute. Alright. Okay. So, oh, we got this. And. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Let's see what it looks like. It looks like he's about to get on the train, I guess. Okay. Let's go back to the face. I'm thinking we're gonna start detailing him out a little bit, but we got him roughed in. This is what we really wanted. Um, really wanted a a bench form or something, maybe a little um, You know what'd be cool if I actually made him standing in the tr just waiting, chilling. But that'd be another day. Let's just get the character down first. Yeah, get me all over the place and I'll start wanting to model everything. Um, let's see what our poly groups look like on this. Let's, um, yeah. So... do this. I was thinking about separating this so I can texture it differently. That is if we texture it. Decisions. <clears throat> and most of the time, I think that goes on a different spot, but it's all good. There's like a swivel right there. Yeah, it does. Let's separate that. Uh, group splits. Let's see what this is going on. Mm -hmm. Let's make it in the center. Scale this out. Turn this off. Scale this up and away, center, up and down. We'll probably attach it to something there. So we got our headphones kind of in there. I'll probably add like a cylinder right here um, to give it a swivel. Let's do that now. Geometry. Pinned. Cylinder. Let's rotate this thing. 90 degrees and let's scale it. Let's place it. It's just a small, small little detail. I'm looking at some headphones right now, right next to me, and it's the little things. It's just little bitty things. You know what I mean? So we got that in there. And if we're gonna do the poly loops, let's go ahead. Let's do it with an insert 
uh, multi so we can actually get it even out there and then we can do poly loops on this and get that going this way and then I might do an extra just to, just for character if I turn that off I don't like that extrude so I turn it off again let's kill some poly polygons so we don't need these there you go and what I could do is do the dynamic subdivision but we're not going to do that till the end um, Curious as a scout, does he need a nose? Does he need the eyes? We'll start sculpting in some stuff. But right now, let's see. So where we're at. Let's render this. Let's see what we got. Pretty simple, pretty pretty straightforward, but we got kind of a base model going and later on I'm gonna later tonight I guess I'll I'll probably try to do some more but there's a, there's a boxing match going on, so I'm probably going to watch that. So, um, Yeah, look at that. It's kind of got it going on. We can put subdivisions on this guy, too, if we really want to. Uh, let's go here. Geo, dynamic sub, we'll turn on dynamic. And there you go. You got almost got a hat. If you want to make that bill a little bit more defined you can go in here and add a like an edge loop or a crease but I'm familiar with other 3d programs that usually use um, just insert more um, loops and then you can soften it as you need I might I like using the crease but I don't know some older habits are I always like using this this That'd be my method for now. If you look at them now, you got a hat going on. And if you really want to, you can crease the top there to give a little more definition. Um, we don't have to, but we can crease this right there. Just a little bit. Give that clay feel. You know what? We're already going this route. Let's do this. I don't really want it that smooth I want to kind of just kind of do this and it works why not why not we're going everywhere we're going nuts nuts I see and we can actually give it a little bit of a Hard edge. You'll need to put another bevel on this to keep that from or a uh, edge. So if we were uh, polygon looking, it kind of goes away. Let's see if I can just click if I do the same. Yeah. If I were to turn this off, it's gone. Look at that! I didn't, I didn't close my holes. And that's what happened. Close holes. Boom! Gone. Yeah. So we got kind of a model going on. I can actually turn this on. Dynamic sub, and we got a little more detail. But we're going to call this at a stopping point. I'll come back probably tomorrow if I get some time. And um, add a little bit more detail to this character. But for now, this is where we're going to stop at. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.